Hello everyone and welcome back to Learn to Love DIY. Today we are creating this beautiful basket here. Very simple to make and it does not take too much paper. I'm using DSP for this project. I'm using the poppy paper here and I've scored it at two and four and then two and four. And then all you're going to do with this one is just go ahead and fold on the lines. And then I also have a piece that me measures half an inch by eight and a half inches. You can make this as long as you want the handle to be. And then I have another piece for our sentiment that measures half an inch by four and a quarter. We'll be trimming that down just a little bit. And then I do have two layering squares, one in apple, uh, Granny Apple Green and then one in Poppy Parade. And then it has some cute little bunnies that we're going to try out and see. I left one with the cute little center fur, just white, and then one that I colored in, in petal pink. So we'll see how which one of those we like. And then we have two little bre uh, brads that we're going to be using to hold the basket together. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the basket itself. And what I'm going to be doing is just burnishing on the score lines very lightly. And then doing the same for all of them. scissors and we're gonna make some cuts. I'm gonna make some cuts. Let's see. We want the paper looking up. So we'll do this guy. We're cutting right to the first score line. And then we're doing the same for this side. And we're not trimming anything off, we're just cutting straight lines. All right. Okay, I'm gonna take my paper piercing mat, which we're gonna be use to make a little hole for our brad and all of our layers. Now mine, I made it so that it is about even in the center. I've seen different designs and I tucked this one in and left these guys out. And I went ahead and punctured my basket where the folds meet in the center just like that. However, you could make it a tad bit bigger by doing something like this and having like a double square on both ends. That kind of just depends on what you prefer. I thought this would, looked nicer and cleaner, so this is what I decided to do. And as soon as I had this shape, I went ahead and just placed it down, configured about the middle. And I'm hoping that you're able to see what I'm doing. Let me fold these back so we're able to get a better image. So like I said, I just configured the middle of this center square and then just punctured a hole there. And then I did the same for the opposite end. Okay. Took it down and let me show you one more time. Just took the middle of the middle and made sure it was not too on the edge there, just in case. And then I went ahead and took my long strip that measures half an inch by eight and a half inches and then just did small puncture holes. Okay. Okay, and that is all we're going to be using our paper piecing mat today for. And I'm going to go ahead and just give this a little bit of a crease so it's easier for me to go ahead and assemble the box. So I'm going to go ahead and take one of my tiny brads 
and I'm going to try to pull them through the different holes that we've punctured. Okay, and then last but not least, I'm going to take one of the ends of our handle and then we're ready to go ahead and secure the brad on the basket. And then we're going to do the same thing on the opposite end. Taking our brad and making sure it goes through all the punctures. And then our handle. And then, just like we did with the other side, we're going to go ahead and just secure it. So this is technically still very flexible that you can move to the side just a tad bit. And there you have it. I decided to do the opposite end so that you can see the difference and the inside has the poppies. So it's basically the same thing, just different kind of approach. And then I'm going to go ahead and take our two circles. And we're going to go ahead and just use a little bit of Tombow to adhere them. And then we're going to come figure which bunny we want, kind of like the one with the white. And this one we're going to be using a dimensional for to pop it on. Nothing crazy because I will be layering this. I'm using the ends. Okay. And then I'm going to be taking my Memento Tuxedo Black ink and we're going to do the sentiment that says, Have a wonderful Easter on our piece. Let's try again. I think I applied a little bit too too much pressure on it. Okay. I guess fifth one's the charm. Okay. And then, as I did with my original, I'm going to go ahead and just flag one of the ends. And then I'm just going to go ahead and fold this a little bit and then do the same on the opposite end to create that cute little fold. And then all I am doing is applying a little bit of adhesive on both of these ends so that this guy sticks onto the bunny ends. And we're wanting his face to show a little bit. And then I'll never burst this. I'll be using just two dimensionals. In this case, I'm using the corners, trying to use up what I can. Okay. And then we're using this end to adhere our cute little sentiment bunny. And there you have it. Those are our cute baskets for today's project. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you'd subscribe. I have linked my Stampin' Up! online store so that you're able to shop any of the items I've used today. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comment section below or you can email me at learntolovediy at gmail.com. Thank you very much for watching and you guys have a great day.